Hi, today we are learning how to get started with Sish 50 in 10 minutes. Come with me now and let's begin. You will be wondering how I can read your mind. How do you start now? There are just a few easy steps. Step 1. Install Sage 50 from the installation DVD or from a downloaded installer from the Sage website. Step 2. Log in and change your password if you wish. Step 3. Activate your license. Step 4. Create your own company. And lastly, step 5. You can start your first business invoice. The auto run screen will be shown after you have inserted the DVD in your drive. Select the relevant Sage 50 version. There is an overview if you would like to know more. To start the installation, click on Install Sage 50 and the installation process will begin. If you are downloading the installer from the Sage website, surf to HTTP sage50.sage.my Select Downloads, Product and then Sage 50 2015 to download the installer. After your download is completed, select the downloaded file and run it. The installation process will be started. Select the preferred language you want to use in the system. Click OK to proceed. At the Welcome page, click Next to allow the setup wizard to continue. Next is the End User License Agreement and Privacy Policy. Indicate your agreement and click Next to proceed. There are two types of installation. You can choose between a standard installation or a network installation. The standard installation is the common choice. Click the Next button to proceed. You are now ready to install into the folder that is defaulted. Click the Install button to proceed. The installation will progress as the system installs the necessary applications. Once the installation is completed, click on the Finish button and Sage 50 will be automatically launched. A loading screen is displayed when a system is being launched. During the first startup, the master database will be created. In the case of the first startup, some of the few pages are mandatory to provide the user a general overview of the Sage 50 product and the general tips. Congratulations, you have successfully installed Sage 50. Okay. I have successfully installed Sage 50. How do I log into the application? Once you have started the program, it will display the following login screen. There is a default ID that is created for starters. Key in SAGE as user ID and SAGE UBS at password. Click sign in button or press enter key to log in to the system. For security reasons, you are required to enter a new password to replace the default password provided in the system. You can create new users and passwords once you are logged in. Enter any password that you are comfortable with and then repeat it in the Confirm Password field to confirm your password. Click Save. A new dialog box will ask you to confirm the change of the password. Click Yes to confirm the new password. This message box shows that your password has been changed successfully. The login screen is shown again for you to log in with the new password. Here is my product certificate which I received in my email. How do I activate the license? After you have logged in to Stage 50, click on the Manage License link. Select I would like to activate my software license option and click Next. Select I would like to activate my software license option and click Next. 
Enter the My App ID and activation code as per your product certificate, then click Next. Your My App ID will be validated and your company information registered will be shown. Please ensure this is correct. Click Next to continue. Click Finish and your license is activated successfully. Your application will restart automatically. I've installed Safe 50 and activated the license already. How do I start using it? You can start by creating a new company via the Create Company Visit. Log in to Sage 50 and click Create Company Link. Enter your company name, company registration number, address, and contact information. All the information will be printed on your invoice header, therefore ensure that it is correct and accurate. You can also upload your company logo as well so that it is shown on your invoice. If your company is a GST registered company, don't forget to fill in your company GST registration details as well. If you do not have all the information on GST, you can come back to this later. This information will be printed on your GST03 form. Nuisa GST only effective around 1st April 2015. Why you want me to enable it now? No worries. GST features will only be shown when the effective date has reached. You're still able to use the system as usual now without the GST features shown. Enable GST features and fill in your GST registration details now so that you don't need to worry about when it is the right time to enable it. Let the system remember for you. Let's say you set the GST effective date as 1st of April 2015. On the 1st of April 2015, when you first log into the system, this message will be shown to inform you that the GSD features is now enabled in the system. Next, tell the system what is your current financial year when you open and close your books. You can copy master data such as GL accounts, customers, suppliers, items, etc. from another company in Stage 50 if you have. Else, you just select the No option and proceed to the next step. Lastly, tell the system whether you want to create your own chart of accounts manually or you would like to use the ready-built chart of accounts from the 80 industry templates provided in Sage 50. If you choose to use the ready-built chart of accounts, most of the GL account mapping in settings are preset. You can immediately issue your first invoice after this company is created successfully. We would strongly suggest that you choose the template option. After all, you can add and manage the chart of accounts later. Wow, so simple. Got my company ready for transaction entry in four steps only. So recently, I just made sales. How do I issue an invoice to my customer? Let me guide you through the steps to create a sales invoice in Sage 50. Click on New Sales Invoice at the home page. Enter your customer name at Customer. If the customer is already in your customer list, it will be shown and you need to just select it. If nothing is shown in the list, it means this is a new customer. Press Enter to add it into your customer list. Enter your customer's detail here such as address, contact, company registration number, etc. The customer address is important in GST context. According to PUA 190 GST Regulations 2014 Part 4 Clause 22, tax invoice must contain the name and address of the person to whom the goods or services are supplied. Click Save and the customer details will be populated into the invoice. Next, enter the item code into the item code field. 
If the item is already in your item list, it will be shown in the list. Select it. If nothing is shown in the list, it means this is a new item. Press enter to add it into your item list. Enter the item name, unit of measurement, unit cost, selling price, etc. You can upload the image of the item as well. Click on the More Attribute tab to set the default GST tax code for the item. Wait, you mean I need to create the GST tax code by myself? No worry. The JKDM recommended GST tax codes are already preloaded when you create the company. Just use the GSD tax codes and you can never go wrong. Hey, I have hundreds of items in my inventory list. You telling me I need to set the default tax code for each item one by one? You mad? There is an easier way in Sage 50. Categorize your item by item group. You can set the default GSD tax codes in item group as well. Link your items to the respective item group. In the future, if there is any change of GST tax code, you just need to change it at the item group and all the respective items will follow. Oh, not bad. That should be the way. After maintaining the item details, click Save. The item will be populated in the Invoice Entry screen. Do you notice that the GST tax code is being automatically filled up as well? Yeah, then I don't need to worry about using incorrect tax code or even to forget to apply GST tax code in the entries. Save the invoice after you have finished entering all items. Now, you can print the invoice. If you are a GST registered company, you can print a tax invoice. If you are a non-GST registered company, you can print a sales invoice. Okay, got it. Got my first issued first invoice.